Hello guys, welcome back to my channel or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica and today we're doing yet another edition of the bi-weekly wishlist or washout. If you're new to my channel or if you've not seen the series before, what I do is every other Wednesday go through all the new makeup releases that I see on Instagram and I decide I'm going to be adding anything to my wishlist or if everything's a total washout. We've got a lot of new releases to talk about today and I think I only have like one makeup update and it's really exciting. I finally got my Shroud X Butte Bean collab palette like oh my goodness this thing is stunning um and i did just film a first impressions i have a two looks one palette coming for you guys very soon it should be i think the next video after this one's gonna be my pan that palette update and then right after that one this will be going up so make sure you're subscribed any of the bell icons you're notified whenever i do post that video and i am wearing it on my eyes today i think this is one of the, it's one of the two looks i forgot if i had labeled it look one or look two in that video but you'll see <laughs> i think that's it so let me scoot over and let's get started Okay, so I was tagged in these ABH face palettes, and as someone who loves face palettes, I was a bit intrigued. But like looking into them and seeing the price and seeing their shade range and also going through my collection, I did pick up an ABH bronzer from, it was like TJ Maxx or Marshalls, I found it on sale there. And I forgot how super like orange it is and I think this is true for most of their bronzers they're just like super super orange and I can really I have it a little bit on today as a contour because I really can only use a little bit of it and then blend it out I have to blend it out to high holy hell like to make sure I don't look like a cheeto <laughs> so all of that in mind the, the the shade ranges being kind of blah and everything I'm not going to buy these I think they're overpriced and I think they're it's a very odd choice for ABH to come out with like I think if ABH had come out with a good shade range of these a couple years ago, this would have been like amazing. But with their track record not being so fantastic lately, meh. Um, and also, uh, Midas Cosmetics did that collab with Neon anyway. I do have one of those face palettes and those are awesome. So if you're looking for a good affordable face palette, check those out instead. So Christian Louboutin um, is adding some face palettes to their makeup collection these oh those swatches look horrific sorry uh, i'm scrolling through the pictures like as i'm doing this um packaging i gotta say actually looks pretty cool i like the packaging but looking at those swatches and looking at these basic colors and let's see am i gonna figure out how much these cost without having a aneurysm um no they don't have prices on here which is good this is the same line that came out with like 90 dollars nail polish and apparently it wasn't even good <laughs> So while these look kind of cool, I know there's no way in high holy hell that I'm going to ever try one of these. Also, like even their like best swatches like on their website or here, those swatches look sad and they look washed out and light on the light model. So this wouldn't work for a variety of skin tones right off the bat anyway. Too Faced is coming out again, or I guess re-releasing their Love Flush blushes, which I remember back when I first started watching YouTube, these were everywhere. Everyone loved these blushes. They they also came out with a palette, I think, with all of these in it, and that was everywhere. I thought the packaging was like hella cute, and I really wanted to try it, but I, at that point in time, I could not afford to spend that much money on a blush. Now, I think there are other better blush options available, and they're probably like cheaper and more pigmented, better. <laughs> what blushes have I been really liking lately? Um, the Cover Effects blushes, if you're looking for more higher end one, those blush duos are really, really nice. Um, and then I'm currently still testing out the Rare Beauty like liquid blushes. Like, yeah, that is something. I've been reaching more for like cream and liquid blushes recently. But anyway, I do like the packaging on these. Um, and I honestly didn't really realize that they had discontinued these. I just kind of thought that they kind of faded into obscurity but they're still available but I guess they did get rid of them and now they're bringing them back. Kindness vegan beauty with with kindness and we do good things and we're vegan and we're kind is coming out with some okay I'm actually kind of excited these are just like I said these are liquid okay so they're called ModCon liquid gel blushes and they come in little squeezy tubes and the colors look very very pretty like summer. Ooh, I want to try this. I really do want to try this. How much are they? They don't have a price on. Oh, 26. 26 dollars. That's a bit steep, you know. But I like I like the packaging on this. I like the idea of like a liquid gel blush. Ooh. Hmm. I just think 26 is a bit much. What do you think? Another cream blush, uh, Bite Beauty, is coming out with the new Daycation Whipped Cream Blush. I have to say the packaging on this though looks very very odd. Like it was there a more efficient way to package a cream blush? I don't, I don't get the, the weird pen, pencil. Is it a squeezy tube? Yeah, I think it's a squeezy tube. Yeah, that's odd. I don't know. I'm not a huge fan of that. These are $32 each. It's, again, steep. But they look, they look really cute. 
Is it only the four shades? I think it's only, yeah, it's only four shades so far. Hmm. But it, it looks, it, hmm, I don't know. I don't know. I feel like for that packaging, I probably wouldn't pick it up because it seems like not a whole lot of product, which if it's cream, you don't need that much product. But it's, it's, it seems expensive for what you're getting, right? Ooh, these look pretty. Um, so Juvia's Place came out with a new bronzed collection and they have a new eyeshadow palette for $14. But I think the big thing here is they're coming out with bronzed duo bronzers. So they come with two bronzers and it's a wide shade range that looks fantastic. And the packaging is just amazing. Like I, I want to try these. They look super cute. And the duos, they're only $18, which isn't bad for two bronzers. And I've got a yawn. <sighs> <laughs> but yes, I would definitely try those bronzers because they look really interesting. But I don't know about the rest of the collection. I probably would skip on the rest of it. Morphe collabed with Coke. And this is volume two? When did volume one come out? <laughs> Again, another random brand collabing with, with a beauty company. And I guess they're focused on like some vintage stuff. Like it's called 1971 Coke. The color, the palette itself, the color story is kind of meh. It's like half neutrals and half like pastels, right? Which is just, it's just a meh kind of palette. Um, it's got Coca-Cola mascara and I think lip glosses. Um, I don't know. It's, I mean, it's not jumping out to me, but I was never a fan of that kind of like flower child aesthetic, you know? So maybe this really, really speaks to someone, kind of like the Chipotle one spoke to me, you know? Um, but I'm not interested, especially because, you know, Morphe. Fenty is coming out with a eye brightener, which I think it's either an under eye concealer or like a color corrector. They're $25. Again, that, that seems a bit steep, doesn't it? $25. It is, I think it's a concealer. An under eye brightener that easily hydrates, brightens, and conceals. Delivers a fast, natural, no makeup makeup effect with sheer to buildable coverage. Crease humidity and sweat resistant. That, those are some bold claims. Especially as someone who sweats a lot. I'm intrigued. I do want to try these. Um, looking at the shades now, I would probably have to get like the one of the lightest shades. Yeah, looking like gold and ivory or something. Anyway, um, but that it's intriguing, and I do want to try it out. But that is again, that's twenty five seems to be a little little steep. All right. So speaking of face palettes, ColourPop came out with some blush palettes, and they actually look kind of cool. They they seem to have a good shade range. The swatches look very pretty. And are these cream products or are they all powder products? Okay, so they're powder products, and then it also comes with a super shock highlighter inside and they're $12 each so that's, that's extra, a decent price point um I'm not gonna you know run to pick these up because again I've got plenty of face palettes and I do have my one from Midas that I really like but I have to say this was actually a really good call for them I think this is if they could keep it in stock and like if this is permanent which I, I don't even know what's permanent in Colourpop anymore but if this is permanent this is a really good idea I don't know how I feel about this the gradient is kind of cool but how would you keep it neat like that Okay, so this is new from Suva Beauty, and these are Doodle Doo Hydrafix Duos. So they're two liners in the same kind of pot. And the swatches they show is like a gradient from like one color to the next, but I just can't, like if you mix those together, you're not getting just one shade again, are you? So I don't know how that would work. Like it seems like a cool idea, but then like I can just imagine it getting messy and then once they smudged together it's kind of just that's it you get the one color right huh. but I don't know what do you think Ooh, so I know a lot of people were excited about this and they look really cute but they're, ooh, they're gonna be pricey um Pat McGrath came out with a whole divine blush collection so it came with like a little eyeshadow quad some lipsticks a gloss but the big part is just like full-size beautiful blushes and these blushes are just them they look gorgeous like just looking oh my god the, the imprint and the pan the shades they chose Ooh, i mm, oh my god it's so pretty looking at these swatches looking at the plushes oh they're so pretty i know they're gonna be a little pricey <laughs> they're gonna be available at the end of the month 
on their website. I hope these come to Sephora and then I might just add them to my loves list and wait either for another sale or until I have, I think I'm close to getting my 500 points and you can get like $10 off an order. So we'll see, but these are just so pretty. This I'm really intrigued by and I really want to try out. This is the Maybelline Fit Me Tinted Moisturizer. And I love the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless. It's one of my favorite like go-to summer foundations. And then to see them come out with something that's more like a tinted moisturizer intrigues me. The packaging I think also looks really cute. I love the yellow. And I just don't want to know. I really want to try this. All right, now this. I don't think... I, this this would actually be another great contender for a future duping the vibes video. So let me know if you guys want to see that. But this is the Kaleidos Flower Punk palette. Now I know I have these shades in my collection, but like seeing them all together in this color story is just so cute and intriguing and inspiring. So I think I should I'd eventually do a duping the vibes video because I know I could probably find these shades in my collection. But it's just a cute palette, and I like the the packaging. It looks really really cool. Um, Oh, the rest of the collection, I think there's some lipsticks too. I wouldn't be interested in that, but the palette jumped out at me. And I've seen a lot of people talk about this palette on social media, but it just looks so cute. So yeah, let me know if you guys want to see a Duping the Vibes video. And if you missed my first Duping the Vibes video, I did do a video Duping the Vibes of the Soma Amazing palette from Clarity Cosmetics. I'll throw it up in the cards if you missed it. So Urban Decay is coming out with another loose setting powder. Now, I had heard... Because I a loose powder that I really liked, they, they had the Velvetizer. Do you remember the Velvetizer powder? And I heard that that was apparently just an older powder they came out with repackaged in like a new marketing thing, right? So I'm wondering, because I haven't seen that Velvetizer, I wonder if they discontinued that and they just repackaged it into this. It's $33 and it looks like a really small package, to be quite honest. It looks tiny, like when the model is holding it. So I don't know if it's going to be worth that much money, but I really did like that Velvetizer powder, so... All right, so the Marilyn Monroe collection with Besame Cosmetics. I gotta say, the packaging, the aesthetic, spot on. It looks so cute. Um, the only downside is uh, Besame is expensive. I have one product from Besame, and it was a lipstick, and I think I spent like thirty something dollars on that lipstick. But it's it's so pretty and like unique, right? But I don't know if I could buy much of anything else because I, I I would think like half the appeal of these would also be to be like a display piece in your collection. Um, but it, it looks so cute. But yeah. Oh my god, the limited edition box set was $425. And it sold out. <laughs> it was the... Yeah. Oh my god, that's mm, $425 and it sold out. That's bananas. <laughs> it looks like a butt. <laughs> so I guess this is a... Um, heart-shaped makeup sponge from Kaja Beauty, which is a cute idea. Like, again, a cute display piece, but, like, how useful is a sponge that's shaped like that gonna be, really? And like I said, it looks it looks like a butt. <laughs> All right, and I think we are caught up on Trend Mood. So that is everything for this edition of the Be Wow. Let me know down below what you thought of these new products. For me, nothing I'm terribly excited about. They're kind of duds for me. But let me know what you think down below. Thank you guys for watching, and I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye.